Hello everyone and welcome back to Bricky Place. My name is Frederick. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to use the, the groups feature in Lego Digital Designer. Now the groups feature in Lego Digital Designer is located right over here. So usually you only use this tab called Bricks and there's one called Templates and there's one called Groups. So groups can be used to group, of course, group selections of bricks. Now, I use this feature a lot since um, each group is stored in the file whenever you import it into another file. So let's take an, uh, or make an example of this. So right here I have a module or a uh, specific thing that I can reuse. So I want to generate a group for this. Now I can select all of this. Now you can see all the bricks have been selected down here and then we press Control G or Command G if you're on Mac and then you'll see that there's now a group created over here. Now you can add or remove individual bricks, see right now then if we select it again then this brick will not be a part of that group anymore. So if we re-add that then if we want to make a subgroup, which is really, 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 really useful, especially in this case where we have a track that we want to be able to take apart, so we select it from, from down here, and then we click the create a subgroup from selection button here. Now, what that will do is that we can still select this and we can move it around, but the the overall selection can still be moved. Now, let's say that we also want to add this. As a subgroup itself, we can just add that right here. But now the um, the preview over here is kind of screwed up. So if we select this again and we move it back in place, then we can remove a piece from that group and add it again. Now the preview has been fixed up here, and you can rotate this by holding down the right click button, just like you do like this. So how is this useful at all? Let's say this now I have a lot a, a whole lot of models here so let's just say this as module and say we have a new file by pressing command G or going to file new now let's create a new one and let's say that we have some uh, 32 by 32 bricks here or plates or base plates here now I want to import my module from before I can press Command I or <laughs> Control I, depending if you're on Mac or Windows, or you can go to File, Import, and let's go and find our module from before, which is here, and then we open it. Now you'll see that the groups that we created in the file before has now been imported into this file. So if we go ahead and import another one of these modules, let's say that we want to then another pair of groups will then be created so that you you can basically keep the hierarchy from your file um, and then you can just keep moving these so I want to remove the track let's say that I want to add a switch instead then I can just remove these and then you have the space and availability that, um, that um, these track pieces would then be taking up on in this case um, if you want to remove a group you can of course always just go here um, and click the X icon which you can't see here right there however that will not delete the selection so if we press command or control Z to undo then we can click here and you can press D the letter D on your keyboard that will delete the selection that you had which is up here or you can just click here and then you can click that up here it's much easier if you learn these all these different ones if you learn them that's gonna make it a, a lot faster for you to uh, to build but um, now we can remove that selection and then we can start working on our let's say our switch or whatever um, oh I'm not supposed to say that yet um, then let's say that we wanted to work on our switch we're going to go ahead into view, new themes, Lego Digital Designer Extended. Um, sorry, you can't see that, but um, 
but yeah. So let's go into find the switch here. And here we go. Let's just rotate that around. There you go. But our, our groups here are still present. So you can still move this around however you want. And let's add the switch brick here to our subgroup. So now these two can be moved um, in the, within the same selection very easily. And this is a lot easier when you have, let's say, 50 different components or you're building a large train station or a modular or something. You can move these into different groups and that's going to make your workflow a lot easier. So that was basically the tutorial for today. I hope you learned something. You have, if you have questions, leave them down in the comments. I will make sure to reply to them. And as always, have a wonderful day, everyone. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.